what's going on guys this is easy welcome to my channel so this is the take two of this video because the first one actually got really long and in this video i want to share my plans for my character what are my long term plans and short term plans and how am i going to improve my character and i hope this also helps you guys so playing this game for more than one year actually taught me a lot of things and the first one which i want to share with you guys is the family buff so my family buff is actually specifically designed for demon hunter to have vengeance buff on this but recently if you guys have seen me playing battle i mean the blood knight class and what i learned is when you are a mid spender or free to play player it is better to go with a family buff that are generic means they would actually work with anything or any class that you actually want to play and you don't have to worry about them and that is exactly what i am going to do with time and what my plan is let me just share it with you guys this is a long term plan which i am going to do and it is going to take me some time but i am actually going to do it so what i actually learned that there are specific attributes which would give you the best benefits and the first one is the primary the second is your skill damage and the third is your crit hit damage and since now we have mother lament this family buff has more value than before so i think it would be wise to have these three and you are definitely going to get hydra with this so three of them from the wildfire stone that is actually going to work wonders for every single class in my opinion then i think the other one is jolt yep duration of beneficial effects this is actually mostly really good for most classes i have noticed that this is actually really good for demon hunter as well as for the black knight i cannot say for the other classes but this specific attribute is actually really strong and having this on eight pieces would actually give you i think 21 person if i am not mistaken in calculating so this is another really good one and the final which is actually really good for every single class is the attack speed for your primary here it doesn't save attack speed for primary but if there are other skills as well that takes the effect from the attack speed then it is also going to work with that so that is my first long term plan which i am going to do i am going to make my family buff more generic so in future if i want to switch to some other class to test out then i don't have to worry about it being working well for the other classes because right now this one really doesn't work really well for my blood knight but if i had the generic system uh, the generic attributes for my gears then it would have been doing wonders for me for the other classes as well so that is my first plan which i intend to do and i would suggest you guys the same if you are a free to play player or mid spender even a real this would be the best way to go unless you are focused on certain thing then my second plan is finally to push again really hard with material farming i actually slowed down and my daily scrap farm was only around 2500 to 3000 which is not enough so from past few days i actually started to do activities that actually have more material drops and uh, i have been farming this is me 8400 at the moment i only farmed for two days for now and i am not done 
yet i am still going to farm today before i call it a day and most likely i will be hitting more than a ten thousand within you can say two days time so i am going to push myself and i want to complete all my gears with rank 30 within two months time period because i think this is pretty much restricting me from enjoying the game rather than grinding all the time so i want to get done with this and once i am done with it i can do whatever i want to do in diablo immortal i can go battle i can go and do battleground i can do different dungeons that do not drop many materials other than the mavi or forgotten tower so that is my other plan which required amount two months time for me to upgrade now i could be wrong it could be uh two months and a half or two months but i am hoping to go even faster so that is my second plan here my third plan is to finally upgrade my gems to rank 7 and above because i have been neglecting them for a very long time but ever since i started to upgrade them I can tell you that I feel more powerful against many players that are at same level as I am with the resonance or a little higher but they do not have these level of gems. And I can pretty much say especially when you have the sapphire gem and maybe armor I'm not sure but ruby is really great and I would definitely tell you guys to not sleep on this this gem is actually really powerful to have this is going to give you a lot of life and then the sapphire so my plan is here to upgrade all my sapphire to rank 7 and with time i am going to take them to rank 8 and also the other gems and with that i think i will be able to do far better in better ground and vault activities as well and i would suggest you guys to do the same since now we are heading into higher inferno difficulties you will definitely need them to have the benefit from here because as you can see at 2154 i am getting zero baseline increased damage for the crit hit and that pretty much tells me if I had more, I would be dealing more damage in Inferno difficulty as well as in the Battleground. So definitely it is time to start working on them. And the right time is now because if you guys are going to do it later, I can tell you that once people start realizing that Inferno is actually requiring you to have a higher quality of gems normal gems then people are going to grab all the gems from the market and the prices are going to go up if they are not already and i can finally happily say that my first stage of plan has been completed with my gems here as you can see i have my fire and fang rank 10 i have my mother lament rank 10 bloody reach rank 10 and berserker i rank 10 so i am pretty much done with four legendary gem at rank 10 and i am going to awaken this slot as well and i already have the dawning echo for that but this is actually a gear piece which was given by me the class change feature and on this piece i cannot actually awaken it so i actually require a new offhand weapon that is not tied to the class change gear and then i can awaken this but anyways my first stage plan has been completed which was to upgrade my one and two star ranks to rank 10 and my long term plan is for my five star gems that are gloom cars blessed jade 
bottle hope and sipping bile with time with a very very long time i have a plan on upgrading them to rank five six and least seven and that is going to take me to three thousand resonance and maybe maybe when i get close to 3000 resonance i might change my berserker eye for the time being to get extra resonance to just unlock my wings and once i am done with that i am going to go back with my berserker eye because this gem is actually really good for mid spender and free to play player and i love my awakened slot so until i see another two star gem a new two star gem that is actually better than this i am not going to replace it i am going to keep this but if i find a new two star gem coming into the game then i will replace this with that but definitely i am going to keep four slot awakened that are going to give me huge damage buffs like 10 person here 10 person here as well so these are insane this is a cooldown here this is going to be a 10 percent damage here so these are must have and also i have another plan for my awaken slot i intend to unlock the first buff here the primary and the second and in a very long uh plan i have I am thinking of getting this one as well damage and increase by one person part per party members this is one of the strongest that there is but it requires you to have two rank 10 gems inside that is crazy but yeah with time i will get there but primary is my first plan here to get and then the skill damage as well which will give me 30 more resonance here and these huge buffs so this is actually really really good and you really don't need to have all eight slots with five star gem if you are mid spender or free to play instead you can just go with a setup that i have and awaken your slot and you will feel much more stronger so yeah there goes my plan the short term and the long term and this will definitely make my character a lot stronger right now i already can tell you that my character with my current setup is actually easily competing with someone who is around 4000 resonance with no issue because these are all damage dealer gems but anyways if you guys have any question do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next one and if i miss something yeah do ask me that as well but these are my plans for now and i am really hoping with this i will be able to do far better than what i am doing right now although i am satisfied but i want to improve more but anyways, I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, take care, have fun, and bye guys.